everybody. This is Praxis. As you can see, I'm working in the same place as I was yesterday, and I've got the door pretty much done. I'm using this temporarily to hold it shut. You can see, it came out pretty nicely. It's all made out of scrap that was left over from that. This board in particular, this diagonal piece, uh, was left over from the concrete people's work. Uh, these, this is one of their form boards and uh, for the footings. It was, you know, it's all covered in concrete. It had ratty, broken up edges. I was able to trim it down and got a really nice, strong uh, board out of it. It's, it's totally good wood on the inside. So I'm working on getting this whole thing together right now. And uh, one challenge that I, uh, I've got is this rock on the top, based on, you know, kind of where it needed to be for safety and where its, its weight was and everything. The rock could not extend as far as I, I really would have liked to in terms of being an overhang. So this corner of the structure was, uh, you know, it was getting wet, it's continuing to get wet. So I need to make kind of a cap over it. I've, I've been working with uh, these uh, uh, three quarter inch boards to try to make like an overhang. And I'm gonna be using some of this metal to, uh, you know, uh, do some flashing over the, the top area of it. A couple things I wanted to talk about other than the fact that I'm using all, pretty much all scrap on this project. In fact, all this metal was uh, from an earlier roofing project that I had tried over at the uh, original homestead. I'd used uh, this material as a roof for our woodshed, which worked totally fine. It just looked really um, horrible. To be, <laughs> to be honest, it just looked really lousy. It shed water fine and everything, but it just it looked awful. So I ended up replacing it with some nice corrugated stuff later on. Uh, but I kept it, uh, and it's great when you can keep things and then repurpose them. And it's getting used uh, in this. The other thing I want to talk about was that uh, I'm sealing uh, where the uh, wood is uh, connecting to the structure uh, because while I, I'm I'm going to prevent water that's falling from the sky. Uh, there is going to be water that's going to be kind of moving under the structure, and that could be moving through the dirt up here. So I was putting a bead of caulk, uh, silicone caulk, uh, all along where the, this three-quarter inch board is going on. Uh, and I had some here on site, uh, which I had just recently used, and it seemed fine. But after a little bit of use, it uh, it's just started getting really uh, hard, and it was not... Uh, the caulk was getting hard, to be totally uh, honest about it. And... Uh, you know, it ran out. I, it looks like I've still got some more in there, but it just, uh, I don't know, I, I, I ran out and I, I didn't have enough to do the whole thing. Uh, I'd already gotten a bunch of the pieces on there, so I tried to finish what I could. I concentrated more of it on this side and let it kind of taper off over there. Uh, I'm kind of pissed at myself, though, because I've got like 12 of those here somewhere, or maybe not here. I thought, they, I thought I'd brought them here, and I looked around, I just couldn't find them. Uh, maybe they were at the temporary house or something like that. So anyway, the lesson is it's uh, a nice thing to do before you start a project to make sure you have all the pieces. Don't just uh, figure that you've got them, even if like you have, I, I have a pretty clear recollection that I brought that stuff here. Maybe I just have a really clear recollection that I thought about bringing the stuff here and it never actually made it. So it's good to check before you start a project, especially when it has anything to do with glue, because you know, once you start, you know, it's drying and you got to kind of keep going. Plus we've got rain coming in uh, tomorrow, so I want to finish up. Uh, to to uh, make these edges safe, by the way, I've been using this little tool. I've gotten it for the uh, indoor um, air venting. I didn't end up using it at all for that, but it's made uh, bending the edges on this really easy. You just kind of click it on there and, and uh, do little bends. And this, doing this is really hard to do without a tool, so, so that's come in pretty handy. So I'm um, just trying to finish this up again, waiting for the plumbers to finish up, waiting for my lumber delivery to work on the shed. But in the meantime, if I can get this thing functional, we can be storing food in here, and there's all stuff I want to do anyway. That's it. Thanks for watching.